Okay, Tov, good morning. We continue with Hefimini Deideos of Torah. Today is Yom Yerushalayim, Jerusalem Day, celebrating the, the, uh, the events of 54 years ago in, this, in the Six-Day War that culminated with the uh, repatriation of Jerusalem and reunification of the city, the unity of the city. And that's, uh, that's a powerful thing that if the city fought, fell once more into the hands of uh, of our people uh, for the first time in thousands of years that the that uh, the space that Jerusalem as a whole uh, was Jewish once more. It doesn't mean that there are not communities and, and villages all a part of what is greater Jerusalem and that's where there's a great deal of difficulty to this day, to this week, to this day where there are uh, battles going on around uh, evictions from certain from certain um, homes in Sheikh Jarrah right now, and that's a complicated situation. What does the reunification of Jerusalem mean when we consider all those extra villages that are there? And we have to determine, um, as a people, what we should do. And I'll come back to that in one second. The verse in Tehillim reads as follows. First two verses. Three. Shir ha'lamalos ha'david samachti ba'omrim li beit Hashem ne'leich a song of a sense for David. I rejoice as they say to me that I'm going up. We, we shall go up to the house of God. Our feet stood there within, with, within the gates, your gates, Jerusalem. Yerushalayim ha Jerusalem, the rebuilt city or the built up city. What does that last phrase mean? Ki'ir shechubra la yachtav. The Midrash offers two explanations. The first, Rabbi Yochanan says it means that there's a heavenly Jerusalem and there's an earthly Jerusalem and God swears he's not going to enter the heavenly, pristine, perfect Jerusalem until he once more can enter the lower, the, 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 the earthly Jerusalem. And we hopefully have, have um, come much closer to that possibility in our day. Mashiach should come, Messiah should come, and we should feel God really present there. And God will kind of unite the upper realms and lower realms as he, uh, as he enters the earthly Jerusalem and then the heavenly one as well. And then the other explanation offered by Yeshua, I believe it is, who says, no, 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 it's the ear that makes all Jews chaverim, chubra la yachtav, it unites all Jews. And that brings us back to the other point, which is it's a very complicated situation. And the world is divided, and even the Jewish people are divided. But how we should be uh, relating to uh, those neighborhoods right now, and whether we should be aggressively uh, t t taking property that, that was once, once Jewish property in those, in, in those villages, or it's, uh, see it as unwise. Not a simple matter. And uh, we are divided about that. So on some level, Jerusalem divides Jews, but please, we hope and we pray, as we even have to figure out how to handle that. Let all Jews realize the great miracle that, that uh, took place 54 years ago and continues to exist with the holy city of Jerusalem um, in our hands. It's now up to us to do justly with one another within that city. Uh, and those the prophetic calls will now be uh, are now upon us. But let's all rejoice together as a nation in the great miracle of Yom Yerushalayim, the gift that we have. May we all return there soon and in our days.